Good time to get in Sachidanand Uttekar for a quick check on uh, the technicals of the market. Sachidanand, we've uh, so far managed to hold the 20-day moving average uh, despite the declines that we're seeing from the top. Even after the decline that we saw on Friday, Monday, Tuesday, we recovered. What are your thoughts uh, on where we go from here given the increased volatility in global sentiment? Uh, good afternoon, Mangalam. Uh, Mangalam, I think uh, if you specifically look at today's trading session, it looks more on, uh, because of the unwinding pressure that we have seen so far. Uh, if you look at uh, the levels, uh, I think the 70,680 is a very uh, uh, you know significant level as the 20-day moving exponential moving average is placed there. But if you look at the data set, it is clearly exhibiting that uh, Nifty should be range bound. 17,800 looks like a resistance as of now. But on the lower side, we don't see it slipping below 17,600. So probably uh, the idea is to you know uh, continue on the short side on the market as of now, uh, keeping a stop loss somewhere close to 17,740 on the higher side. And probably during the day, we may see another swing towards 17,600. I think that will be a good level to re-enter uh, into the market from a long perspective. When, it, when we look at uh, you know bank nifty, the put call ratio has come down to 0.7. But uh, despite of that, uh, there is still uh, some room on the lower side. So I think uh, the reward to risk opportunity in Bank Nifty is far more better than Nifty. Uh, we are expecting that uh, this particular swing uh, could continue towards 40,600 on the lower side. Uh, the stop loss should be placed at 41,160 on the higher side and fresh shorts can be deployed in Bank Nifty as of now. But Nifty, I think the reward to risk is not that prominent. Okay. Uh, as far as uh, trades are concerned, I think it's better to keep a long short ratio here. Clearly, the FMCG pack has been buzzing and here uh, HUL uh, has broken out from a declining wedge formation, which is a very strong indication of a reversal. Uh, we are expecting this particular momentum to continue towards 2680. So we still believe that uh, this particular counter should be accumulated on a decline. The stop loss should be placed at 2595 for HUL and long position should be built here. Uh, on the other hand, Tata Motors is one particular counter uh, which has been a relative uh, uh, weakest uh, counter uh, when we look at autos. So if you look at uh, the data set here, uh, clearly it has been failing to sustain above its 200-day exponential moving average. On the 60-minute scale, there's a clear-cut uh, bearish pendant formation indicating a price target close to 405. So probably fresh shots can be deployed here on Tata Motors with a stop loss at 435. Okay, thanks a lot, Sachin Anand. Have a great day. Uh, that's the word coming in from Trade Bulls.